Hey guys, we're out here at the range today. It's cool morning, it's about 50 degrees. I forgot to wear a regular hat. <laughs> we're going to be chronographing some loads on uh, 10 millimeter if my chronograph works consistently. I just tried a couple of them and one of them seemed awful low for, but we're just going to wing it and see what we get. So we're not going to, we're going to do some load work up. We're not going to bore you with a bunch watching me do a bunch of this crap. So we'll just give you a kind of a filler at the end of it. We're also going to work on some loads for the, the Windicator, EAA Windicator revolvers also. So just want to give you a little heads up of what I'm doing today. It's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be around 59 degrees high today. So thought we'd get out here to range early before anybody else gets here and I was going to do it in the backyard, but with the 10 millimeter brass, no more than I got. With the grass out there, I didn't want to lose any of them, so I come out here to the gravel pit. I actually lost four the other day when I come out here, so maybe I'll run across them today. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're only going to do a three shot spring and see what we come up with. Starting out with the 7.9 a power pistol. I'm going to write these down because my indicators don't always work the way they should. So as we go along, I want to write them down. 7.9 power pistol. Okay, let's see what we get here. One, two, three. Fourteen forty-two, eleven sixty-four. Yeah, my chronograph's just not reading right. That's what I was afraid of because I was getting crazy readings. Thirteen thirty-two. Okay, my chronograph just—it wasn't working right last year, and this just confirms it. So we ain't gonna be doing no chronographing. Here we go. We started out this morning with 8.3 grains of HS6. That was a five shot group. Not bad, but it was shooting right because I was aiming, or left because I was aiming here. So rather than make any side adjustments, I wanted to just keep on going. So we got over here to the 8.6. One, two, three, four. A little bit better group and it I was shooting here yeah this one I was shooting here it was coming over here a little bit high left this was a little bit high left but on these I was facing right into the Sun I was getting a lot of halo on the red dot so I switched around with my son to the back with the Sun to the back and I started getting better and this was, uh, I tried the 8.3 again, which is right here. And I had one, two, three, four, five. No, one, two, three, four, five. There. So, a little bit better group than down here. And then I went to the 9.0 and I had one, two, three, four, five. 
So the 8.3 is not too awful bad. All right, then I made some adjustments. And of course, I'm in here. And I got one, two, three, four, five with 6.5 grains of WSF. And my next one was seven grains. I had one, two, three, four, and one was actually a little bit up here. And then the 7.2, which is the highest I went. One, two, three, four, five. So, actually, I think the 7.2, I'll have to measure it, but a little bit better. But anyway, we've got it working, you know, with the 180 grain uh, cast powder coated bullet. Thanks for watching. God bless American Armed Forces past and present. And if you enjoy videos like this, of course, hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification. I would appreciate it.